Good morning, MGV. Uh, we made it to another Friday, but it's a little rainy today. So I'm trying to get this in before I get rained on, but I like it when we're outside to start our day. So today is Friday, May 29th. And can I invite you please to stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Today I thought it might be um, a good day to sing God Bless America. So please join me. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains, to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Now, I know uh, many of you have been disconnected from uh, our morning announcements and from our work due to um, the internet issues that the district's been having. But the wonderful thing is that they're all saved either under uh, my Google Classroom of uh, Good Morning MGV or on YouTube. So you can go back and look at anything you missed. If there was um, a masked reader you wanted to see, or um, if there was a fifth grader you wanted to see highlighted, you can always take a look back and see what um, I put up. So today is a great day to uh, catch up on all those things that maybe you missed. The teachers have pushed back all of your deadlines and um, just take it one step at a time. We had a delay, so we can only do the best we can and that's all anybody is asking of you, just to do the best you can. Now today, we do have a birthday in fifth grade and uh, let me come right over here and get my birthday glasses. Also make sure I stay out of the rain if it starts raining on me today. And we have a fifth grader, as I mentioned, whose birthday is today. Here we go, my glasses won't open up for me today. There they are. And it is Olivia's birthday today. Olivia's in fifth grade and we wish her a very, very happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my MGV student. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a great, great day. I hope it's not too rainy. And if it rains a lot today, maybe you can do something special outside tomorrow. The weather is supposed to be getting better. We're also continuing to celebrate our fifth graders um, today. Help me celebrate Oh, let me put these down. Help me celebrate today, first William, then help me celebrate Stephen, help me celebrate Ayana, and help me to celebrate Phoenix. Here they are. This is William. William's in Mr. Lauder's class, and he began MGV in kindergarten. His favorite memory is all his field trips and field day. After high school, he wants to go on to college and be a basketball player. He wants our younger students to know that in fifth grade, he wishes them good luck because it only gets harder and harder. Congratulations, William. This is Stephen. Stephen's in Ms. Kavanaugh's class and he began MGV this year in fifth grade. He can't choose what his favorite memory is, but after high school, he wants to go on to be a video gamer. 
and he wants the younger students to know that in fifth grade it can be hard at times, but you can progress. Congratulations, Stephen. This is Ayana. She's in Miss Cavanaugh's class and she began MGV in fourth grade. Her favorite memories are way too many to choose, but if she had to, it would be all the fun parties. After high school, she wants to go on to college for eight years to become a surgeon. And she wants the younger students to know that it's not hard in fifth grade. It's the best year and it's lots of fun. Congratulations, Ayana. This is Phoenix. He's in Mr. Lauder's class and he began MGV in the fourth grade. His favorite memory is the car wash. And after high school, he wants to go on to college. He wants the younger students to know that in fifth grade, you should always do your best. Congratulations, Phoenix. Great job, fifth graders. And we have lots more to go. We have about, I wanna say 68, 70 fifth graders. So uh, we're covering quite a few. Very excited and very excited to see um, those of you who were able to come out for your pictures the last two days by the sign. And don't worry, if for some reason you can't uh, get there today because of the rain, you still have time. Uh, we're looking for a deadline next week to make sure you have uh, your pet special uh, fifth grade picture in so it can be part of your gift. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, email me or um, use the Remind app to uh, connect with me as well. Well, I got one more day of masked readers. I hope you enjoyed the last two days. I have one more set who are going to read for you today another story. So here you go. Let's see if you can guess these masked readers. Enjoy. The Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pan Z woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lima. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lima. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lima. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lima. It's true, said Norman, they're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows, then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman, that's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy his wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. Okay. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. 
and he stormed off. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad. Two. He came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? Asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim. But I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. The end. Were you able to guess all of them? I bet you could guess some of them. Well, I hope you enjoyed your days uh, where you were unplugged. And yesterday when uh, Mr. Eschbach asked you to connect with your family, some of you uh, sent in some really fun pictures. So I want to include them at the end of our announcements and also thank everyone for continuing to uh, work with us as we make our way through distance learning. Please look for announcements today about student pickup on Tuesday, June 2nd for grades K1 and 2, and on Thursday, June 4th for grades 3, 4, and 5. We'll be in the office Tuesday morning at 8.30 if you need to call us. Pickups begin at 9 a.m. Also the same on Thursday with pickups beginning at 9 a.m. Thank you, everyone. I wish you a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you when you come to pick your things up next week. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Today, my name is Michael, um, on News 5, um, the weather today is 65 degrees, cold, cold, and I'm going to be doing an interview with Hercules. Hello, Hercules. Hi. Okay, so what is the best part about being you? The best part is about being strong and helping people with it. Okay, good to know. And what is the hardest animal to defeat and why? The hydra, because it has so many heads. Good, good. Okay, that's here. That's all here, folks. You hear it from Hercules himself. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.